property management, who are one of our uh, sponsors today, so thank you very much to Adhoc uh, for doing that, to present the Empty Homes Practitioner of the Year Award. Uh, so I'm going to hand over to Paul, who will tell you something about Adhoc and who the award winners are. I'm Paul Brooks of Ad Hoc Property Management. I'm sure most of you know what we do, but for the benefit of those who don't, uh, we actually specialise in property guardians. Our guardians will occupy a property to secure and protect the property from squatters, as well as dilapidation, vandalism, and maintenance issues. We hope you were able to get a good look at our stand over lunch this afternoon, um, so thank you. However, I'm not here to talk about us, but about you. Ad hoc are very proud to be presenting this Empty Homes Practitioner of the Year Award for the second year running, as we are very serious about empty property and are very pleased to be highlighting the fantastic work that practitioners are doing tackling the problem of empty homes up and down the country. This was reflected in the quality of the nominations we got for the award, and in fact we had a real problem making the decision because there was a dead heat on the first round of voting. Uh, and the judging panel had to go to a second vote. To reflect this, we have given highly commended awards to the runners-up. They can be very proud of what they've done, and justifiably a bit disappointed to miss out on being the winners by a whisker. Our first highly commended award goes to Leslie Conroy of Coast and Country Housing Association. She's been a central figure in developing a partnership scheme that gets young people into training and into homes by refurbishing empty houses. So, if we could give her a round of applause, please. <laughs> Our next highly commended award goes to Vicky Jackson of Stockton on Tees Borough Council. Vicky has been driving forward the empty homes agenda at Stockton for four years. No stone has been left unturned, whether it be empty dwelling management orders or enforced sale. She's really built a strong corporate commitment to tackling the issue. Could we all please show our appreciation? <laughs> and now for the winner. It goes to two practitioners, not one. Patrick Gordon and Emma Kumar of Brighton City Council. The fact is, they work so closely as a team that to single out one person would have been rather unfair and completely inappropriate. They have developed a systematic approach to empty homes, which has attracted interest up and down the country. They were recently presenting to Scottish practitioners, which showed the level of interest and enthusiasm for their work. More locally, they have been a linchpin of the Sussex Empty Homes Forum. So, Emma? And Patrick, if you'd like to come forward to receive your award, please. is going to be chaired by uh, John Fitzmaurice, who I'm sure most of you will know. Uh, he began his career in housing in Birmingham at Shape Housing Association and has been involved uh, in empty.